If you've been to nearly any major sporting event at Ferris, you've seen him. Who is that masked man? And why is he running through the crowd dressed in that dog costume? Well, he's known as the Ferris Bulldog. He's not the official mascot. That title belongs to a real bulldog, Governor Two. This dog is an entirely different animal. The idea for a costume mascot began with Jim Wilzak, a student who tried out for the hockey team but didn't make the final cut. He got the idea of dressing up in costume and acting as the skating bulldog. As the bulldog, he was an instant success. The present bulldog got the job in response to an announcement in a publication called The Bulldog Bark. Wilzak was graduating and a replacement was needed. Ferris Athletic Director Dean Davenport was responsible for finding his replacement. Well, during the interview, I thought that uh, one of the candidates really shone through. Uh, he just handled himself better, answered the questions uh, much better, and just seemed to have the personality that we were looking for. And so the new Bulldog was chosen. He was forced to take over quickly when Wilzak took a job as a mascot for the Detroit Red Wings. According to the Bulldog, the quick change of guard was unexpected. I asked him how he handled the sudden responsibility. After I did find out about it, it was several days later that I did do my first uh, football game, which was the opening game of the football season. If you spread yourself out and sit down and go for a task and accomplish a task and move on to your next one, you can juggle the classroom work as well as the, the, the work I have to do here and uh, you can find out that you know there is enough time to do everything and make time for the important things that you have to do. The Bulldog's activities are not restricted to Ferris Athletics. Although he does like to limit his appearances, he was on hand for the opening of the US 131 freeway expansion, and he also found time earlier this year to participate in an instructional program for the Great American Smokeout here at Big Rapids Intermediate School. Jan Bishop was coordinator of the program. The kids really love the bulldog. They relate to him, they listen to what he says. They view him not as a bulldog, but as a person. And that's, I think, the, the beauty of the bulldog is he relates to uh, young people so well. It's really a joy to watch the kids interact right with him. But the bulldog can be found most often at Ferris athletic events. He attends all home football, hockey, and basketball games. This year, he began attending volleyball games and managed to make a few wrestling meets as well. Like Wilzak, this bulldog is keeping his identity a secret. No one, with the exception of a few close friends, knows who he is. He likes it that way, and both he and Davenport protect his anonymity strongly. Well, both of the bulldogs felt the same way, and I guess we have to agree it's worked out that way, that, that they can do more and uh, and uh, get away with things if people don't know who they are. If people did know who I was and my identity was known to various people and people throughout campus, that the freedom that I have around the s different sporting events for how crazy I can get or what kind of stunts and routines I can do would be limited because you would be, people would look at you and say, do you remember when he did that? Whereas now I can do it and no one can point at me and say, do you remember when? The Bulldog says he plans on staying on his job for another two seasons. For now, he has no plans for a professional career as a mascot, but would consider it if the opportunity came up. In the meantime, he'll keep tormenting Ferris opponents and pleasing the Bulldog crowd. This is Glenn Bancroft reporting for the Ferris Press Box.